Wishbone. Wishbone Entertainment. Oh, Global? Global, we made it. Uh, damn, I can't remember the nigga studio here on, uh, off, off, off behind, behind Tennessee Street. But that was a, a, a song for a Dre album. He was like, Cuddy, I need you to do a hook for us. I'm like, I got you, my nigga. I, I, shit, I can't remember what year or nothing like, like that that we made Global. But Global was like, you know, uh, I, we made global really around the making of men's with the other side of town. Okay. Before that point in time, niggas from the crest wasn't rapping with no be legit, none of that shit. Right, right. You feel me? And at that point, you know, niggas was beginning to make amends. You feel me? As far as B look, Lil Bruce. Niggas had sat down to the table and found a common ground. Motherfucker had, hadn't found a common ground with 40. Uh -huh. You feel me? And even with, at that point, I was standoffish with a uh, common ground with a little Bruce and, 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 I mean, and, and Bela. Cause I was still like stuck between niggas, my pledge allegiance to the crest, nigga. Fuck this rap shit. Nigga, regular niggas on some crest shit ain't cool with over there. Nigga, I don't give a fuck about no rap shit. Right. Nigga, I still got to be able to go home, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no, on some rap shit, we cool. Nah, nigga, on some street shit, nigga, I gotta be cool. Cause if this rap shit flop, I always got to be able to go home, cause that's all I know. Mm -hmm. All I know is the crest, so. At that point, that was the point where niggas really start being out, being in, in, in similar situations with niggas, to the point where, oh, okay. Be little Papa Thang, nigga. Be little cool, nigga. Mm -hmm. Lil Bruce, little Papa Thang, nigga. All these niggas fuck with us, nigga. Oh, it's good. We, we fuck with it like that. Okay, cool. I can fuck with this nigga. But up until then, it wasn't the personal meets, whatever the fuck, where I knew a nigga personally to deal with a motherfucker person based on, you know, up until that point, it was... Nigga, Bela the click. Nigga, fuck the click. Mm -hmm. You know, I came up on Mac Dre. Fuck the click. All them fools suck my dick. I'm going to rap real slow so you can understand me. Talk real bad about the crippled granny. That's what I came up on, nigga. So it was like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about not giving a fuck about them. Right. Fuck them. Nigga, it's crushed. Nigga, I'm from here. And I don't even knock a nigga from being there. That's on some fuck Mac Dre or fuck whatever. Yeah. Nigga, fuck the crest. That's what you need to be on, cause you from over there. Damn. That's what I expect from you. You feel me? Right. But when we made Global, that was all them song Global and and the song uh, where Miami on the hook. I'm, I'm Sally Valley selling dank beers. What it is? What it, it is, is? What it is? What it is? is. You feel me? Yeah, that was the beginning of the of the, of the you know. So what 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 kept what kept the two sides separate? Just it was just bro. It was y'all just didn't fuck with each other. It was just, just like that. Yeah. It was just like that. You know what I mean? And I mean, being from Vallejo, I mean, I don't want to put it on thick, but I mean, you know, being a crush nigga, nigga, you grow up like you know when we grew up, it was like nigga, once you pass Tennessee Street, nigga, everything over there don't fuck with you, and it's shit on this side of town that don't fuck with you. But it was cool like that. We didn't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, nigga, you from, you from the crash, you grew up funking with everything across town. You know what I mean? You might got respect for certain niggas. Yeah. Okay, he a real nigga from over there, but he from over there, nigga. Nigga got funked with South Vallejo. Nigga got funked with Beverly Hills. Nigga got funked with Millersville. But that nigga, nigga, he a real one. When you go up against him, you better be ready to go because he going to give it back to you. You feel me? And that's where, like, as we got older, the respect came because you had to respect a warrior, a real crip, respect the real blood. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Because 
he know it ain't no just because I'm a crip. I'm going to go get on him because he a blood. Nah, nigga, you better bring your best because he one of them bloods and he going to be ready to give it back to you. Right. Go fucking with him bullshitting and you going to get, nigga, your clock clean. Right, period. You feel me? And it was niggas like that from South Lill. It was niggas like that from Beverly Hills. It was niggas like that from Millersville. It ain't like because you from the crest, nigga. And it got to the point where in Vallejo, it got to a point where other niggas from Vallejo, nigga, it was a strike in Vallejo just to stand up to the crest. It was a strike in Vallejo just to do something to the crest. Especially when the bank robbery shit hit and it was this many crest niggas in jail. So these niggas' numbers ain't even up. You feel me? Niggas slide through there shooting shit. Nigga really on that gangster shit like, nigga, fuck the crest, nigga. And true enough, it was crest niggas that was, you know what, fuck this shit, I'm moving to sack. I'm moving to here. I'm going to there. So it was like, you know, that's when it was like, okay, now just being from the crest ain't just no, you know, hey, I'm from the crest. Because <laughs> it, it was a time where you could be like, I'm from the crest and that meant something. Niggas going to back up off you. Now it's like, Oh, you from the crash? What's happening, nigga? You, you right. really gonna get down about right. your shit? So, what I grew up as a young nigga, nigga, you know, even right now, when I say crash shit and no shit, that's what I grew up on as a young nigga. I'm not gonna rap nothing. I'm not gonna cling to nothing more than I cling to the crash. You feel me? And that's just how it is. But at that point, it was on some serious shit, like on some trip shit. Right. You know what right. I mean? So, I, at that point, I didn't have an understanding for you know, it was and, and, and growing up with the sports. Sports put me in contact with other niggas from other neighborhoods, where my niggas from the hood that didn't, they, they parents didn't have money to play Pop One. They didn't have money to play Big Roof or Little League. That would put they parents didn't have money to put them in the sports that would put them into interaction with other kids from around Vallejo wow. so you could know this nigga fuck with it just like I do. This nigga look at shit just like I do. Sports put me in a position where I had a respect for certain South Vallejo niggas, certain Millersville niggas, certain Beverly Hills niggas, certain niggas from any other part of Vallejo because I seen that competitor in him from the sports. You feel what I'm saying? But as we hit a certain age, now niggas, it ain't about sports. It's niggas said fuck sports, niggas tripping, funking. It's easier for you to funk with a nigga that you don't know. You feel me? Yeah. Now, if I done played sports with you, you done been on my team. Yeah. I might have spent the night at your house in South Carolina. Yeah, sure. I might have spent the night at your house in Beverly Hills. Spent the night at your house in Millersville. I fuck with you like that. Your mama know me. My mama them know you. It's a different dynamic in funking with you. But I can't expect you to say, fuck your niggas. Because I don't know your niggas. I don't know your niggas mama like that. If my niggas come to get on your niggas, I might be like, oh, that's my nigga. Nigga, we can't get on him, nigga. Or at least nigga one-on-one -on -one with that nigga. Right. Nigga, you gotta thump one-on-one -on -one with that nigga. Because if we jump that nigga or whatever the fuck, that nigga mama finna be calling my mama like, what, what the fuck is up? Right, right. Your son is spending night out of my house. What the, what, what, we didn't both bought punch for the pop team. <laughs> what, 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 what the fuck <laughs> is your kid on? Right. All this type of shit. That's how tight knit Vallejo niggas came up. So now it's different with the sports shit took out. You got young niggas that don't know. Nigga, you could do whatever to a nigga you don't know. Right. You got niggas 15, nigga ready to kill a nigga, nigga. I don't know that nigga. Right. And that's how it was with me. I, I didn't know that nigga. I don't give a fuck what I'm going to do to that nigga. There, there's no repercussions I, that I give a fuck about. You feel me? But if it's the one where, god damn, when you look back at the certain South Vallejo niggas, I know that nigga from Little League, from, 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 from Pop Warner, from... Babe Ruth, nigga, my daddy know that nigga, my granny know that nigga, granddad, grandma, all that shit. Nigga, it's gonna be repercussions, family. Even if I snuck that nigga, my grandmama gonna be in the house. 
Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Somebody didn't kill such and such grandson. This shit is just get and you the nigga that done it. You feel me? That's what happened. Lil kind of fucked up. You feel me? So I mean, even even still, that's why I really Lil niggas a fight. That shooting shit came later on. Niggas a fight out here. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Crest nigga get into it with a South Lil nigga. Crest nigga might have whooped that nigga that night. South Lil niggas would be at the Crest Park next morning, nigga. Where what's the name at? Bro, I need that one on one back. And you better be ready. What? Who? Hey, Cuddy, such and such them out there. He say, y'all got into it last night, one on one. Nigga, they had the Crest Park finna fight one on one. That was Vallejo shit. And it was respected. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's different. It's different now. But, you know, time grow and, and, and things change. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just talking about the era that I'm from.